Radio 10 presents. For the first time this year, the world will catch the sport breaking and take the 2024 Paris Olympics. But lucky for Lansing, we don't have to travel too far to watch the sport take center stage. Studio 10's Rochelle Legrand tells us why. Well, that's right, Taylor. All of the above, Hip Hop Academy is hosting their annual Cap City Breaking Jam this Saturday, where internationally recognized dancers are getting a chance to show off their skills. It's highly competitive, it's battle-esque in nature, um, it's acrobatic, it's funky, it's rhythmic, it's beautiful, and it's hip-hop. It's Cap City Breaking Jam. It is essentially a celebration of breaking culture. It's a youth 1v1 and adult 2v2 breaking competition where we invite competitors from all over the country and beyond. And while dancers are preparing for the Olympics newest event, breaking, others are preparing for the local competition happening this weekend in downtown Lansing. These break dancers will get a chance to compete for some serious cash and some serious bragging rights to become a premier um, event in, in Michigan and we're, we're happy to host it. Jose Moore, founder and executive director of Lansing's Hip Hop Academy, all of the above hip hop, is hosting the tournament that honors the dance style that emerged from the Bronx, New York, and is now celebrated worldwide. But it's more than just choreography. And I think the nature of what we do um, as a community, providing safe spaces to explore who you are, find your voice, compete um, in a healthy context, learn the history, understand that you're, 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 you're you're a part of something that is bigger than you and it's global. Ironically, breaking is about building. But at the core of what we're doing is building into young people's lives and building community, you know? Moore found a hip hop community in Lansing when he first moved to mid-Michigan in 2006. When I moved to Lansing, it was a hip hop shop that helped me find my people, right? It was over there on MAC called Code of the Cuts. I moved here in 06 and that was my starting point to get plugged into the community. And with his academy, he hopes to continue building upon that community. We've taken it a step further where we want all the Above Hip Hop Academy to serve, you know, not only locals, but transplants as being that, that one-stop spot to come and get plugged in and find your people, but furthermore, to, uh, to sustain and build the culture here through programming and working with young people. Moore has seen the transformation of youth who have gone through all of the above. It's hard to deny when a student starts performing better at school or when a student starts performing well at home, all of a sudden start exhibiting um, levels of confidence that they didn't know were there or didn't even know how to tap into or unlock it. So it's, uh, it really is designed to be um, a resource to the community through hip hop culture, which we truly believe um, has the ingredients and the ability to be one of the things that helps heal this world, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta know the rules to break it. Cap City Breaking Jam is free to attend at the Lansing Shuffle on Saturday starting at 11, and they're also teaching a free workshop to learn the basics of breaking.